and what I've done was I've given a 32 LED input so um, we'll connect the LED negative side to these pins and then group the positive pins of the LEDs together right about there. We have uh, audio output which is uh, just a bunch of resistors but it, it works phenomenally well for 8-bit. So then we got um, our touch pads and they correspond with how many and engines you're going to run and uh, program selection, sound selection, and then the audio play button. Uh, we have a cross box functionality here and block input where the train sensors come in. So, and I went ahead and gave them six sensor inputs uh, to make room for other components. But there we have it, a nice little board in the works, and it should be in manufacturing pretty soon, about another week or two, um, I'll just have to get down to each pin and make sure everything's hooked up properly, and then give it a test run. Alright, take care.